What's that? Go to my stuff up my coolers, my water jugs, my book bag, my computers, some of the tools that I have in the toolbox. I knew I was going to have to do some pumping, pumping in the rubbers today. So I was out so far. A few moments later. Huge part. Out there on the side, I just want to get everything back in. It'd be easier to load everything out there, all the tools that I had to bring in. So this is part three of our Chris Watts series. Yeah, um, this one's really very interesting. Yeah, what we're going to be looking at today is the um, body cam footage from when Chris Watts and the officer went to his neighbour Nathan's house yeah. to review the CCTV footage. And there's a lot to unpack there. If you haven't seen parts one and two yet, the links are in the description. Go and give them a watch. But before we get into this, um, we just need to go over a few things that we said in the first couple of videos. We did say at the end of video one that if we got anything wrong or, or we'd missed anything out to let us know. Yeah. Well, you guys did. We've had loads of comments um, basically putting us right on a few things, so we'd just like to go over them. Um, yeah, so firstly, Nicole arriving at the house early completely did upset whatever... Plan he had whatever fractions of a plan he had yeah well, i mean yeah. he didn't have much of a plan but it did upset it because you know we totally agree that he was probably waiting until he got home so he could get rid of the medication and all of shannon's personal do effects and do the beds and, and get rid of the medication and then he was going to raise the alarm yeah we totally get that but he still didn't plan it well enough because if he was going to plan something like that and expect to keep his liberty he would have planned for every eventuality. He would have micromanaged every single aspect of it. But he was too much of an idiot to do it. Yeah? He thought that he could kill his wife and kids and it just get covered up and he can live happily get away ever with after. It. Yeah, he didn't even think about the consequences of his actions. So that's the first bit. The second bit, Nick, who is Nicole's son, actually found Shanann's phone. Now, that's something we didn't know when yeah. we recorded... The first I part, thought it? it was Chris who yeah. found it. We both thought it was Chris, so please accept our apologies for that. That apparently was in an interview with Nicole Atkinson that we hadn't seen. We've since gone back and watched that, so please accept for our apologies. We didn't know that Nick found the phone. Now, the other thing is, up until we started making these videos, we thought that Watts parked his truck on the far garage door nearest the front door but it actually turns out it was the near garage door nearer to nathan's house yeah it was the same uh garage shenan's car was yeah it? so that's once again is something that we've only found out through you guys commenting um and also we're going to play the footage explaining this we said that we believe that the kids were dead when they left the house well we've revised that as well we've gone back and looked at the um footage of chris watts in the morning loading his truck up and you do actually see a small shadow under the car come out and you see chris watts bend down and pick something up we believe that was either bella or celeste so just a few corrections from the first video enough from us now um let's just start the video and we'll just go through every single bit of dodgy behavior that chris watts displayed yeah well it was bizarre very bizarre very bizarre. I mean, he totally came to pieces in this, this of course bit, he doesn't did. he? He was n very, very nervous. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so let's get this rolling. What's that? Go to my stuff up my coolers. My water jugs, my book bag, my computers, some of the tools that I have in the toolbox. I knew I was going to have to do some pumping, pumping in the rubbers today. So I was out so far. You know, is this on con continually yep. recording? Yep. Well, it's not, is it motion, motion or is it? Event. Okay, so it's motion. Any motion event that happens, I got, but I get cars driving from this street, from this street. 
verses in at 517. You park out there on the side, I just want to get everything back in. It's easier to plug everything out there, all the tools that I have to bring in. Way, way, way too much explaining there about what he's fetching out. Yeah, it's like he's going over it and over and over it. And while he was doing it, he was on his phone texting furiously. We now know that he was texting Nicole Kessinger. Yeah, so while time. he's trying to supposedly help the police officer, he's too busy texting his... He's texting his girlfriend, yeah. yeah. And look at him, hands on his head, swaying. He's nervous. His trousers are turning he's, brown. He, he's wondering if the CCTV caught anything. Yeah. He's shitting himself at the moment, basically. That's what he's doing. Well, he knows he didn't cover his tracks very well. No. So he's he's coming apart at the seams and you can see it. You can see from here and it just gets worse and worse and worse, doesn't it? It does. What else can I do with it? Yeah, I'll just get it Um, My detective just showed up. Um, so he'll probably want to talk to you. He'll probably... Like I said, you might have to call at the bank and see if there's any kind of activity. Because um, if there is any sort of action out there, his camera, like, I would have got it. Like right. had, I had, we had issues the other other week when people were, coming, were stealing stuff out of like garages and stuff like that. And I had parked my truck. I had here. parked right here. Yeah. So someone, see if I could see where someone tried to jimmy with a flathead screwdriver over there, and it was just like. But if any action would have happened, any cars or anything left your house, I would have been like right in that area. Oh, it'll pick up anything coming down the street this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Watch, I'll show you. Oh, it'll pick up anything coming down the street this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Watch, I'll show you. So that's a very interesting reaction, isn't it, that we just saw from him? He looks terrified. He does look terrified. He also looks as though he's scared. He looks as though he's going to be busted any second. He looks as though he's actually terrified of being busted. It does look as though he's... I mean, you know, when Nate says that his camera picks up motion coming from down the street, from the side of the street yeah. where he pulled out, I think that's when he thought, well, what else is it catching as well? You know? Yeah, he was scared in case it saw him. He's proper panicking. Well, he didn't... <laughs> he's a nutcase. He's a nutcase and he's a monster. There's nothing on here. We've already watched that one. But like, you'll see this car. What's the first car? Yeah, it's one of these cars. You can see this car stuck in the back end. Right one. Oh, look, look. See so what I'm saying? It picked up all the way down there. Okay. He's next door. Here we go. Definite fight or flight there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we can pick up cars coming this way. I get anything coming this way and making this turn. So, and usually at night I pick up the cars going to your turn. So, unless they pull it right here, you know, but I would have caught her walking out. Every word that comes out of Nate's mouth makes him look more and more guilty. Absolutely. Diesel. <laughs> Yeah, I've got nothing. Nothing for the rest of the day. Oh, that's it. She's pregnant as well. How far along? 14, 15 weeks. She's pregnant as well. How far along? 14, 15 weeks. Now we've stopped the video here for a couple of reasons. Um, the image on the screen subconsciously reminded Watts to mention to the officer that she was pregnant. Exactly. Okay. Um, but he he's so nervous that he can't even get the amount of weeks that she's pregnant right. He says 14 and then and he then says 15. 15. Yeah. Now the officer's already aware that she's pregnant because Nicole told her and I think that Watts may have told him inside the house. But neither of us are superstitious or believe in the supernatural do we no but we do want you to take a look at this now this image people have said was a bad omen for chris watts um it's certainly very freaky yeah 
considering what happened. But we'll leave you guys to make up your own mind about that. That's why her friend said it was World War II. You see, I've got her friend leaving out here at no, two in the morning. I think. My camera. His nervousness is intensifying. Yeah, definitely pacing a lot more, definitely showing how nervous he is. He's very, very nervous at this point. Yeah what one little image one little thing could incriminate him and he knows this of course he does that's it, why he's so nervous mr brown trousers exactly Motion to like fail. That was the start of the video. Yep. I didn't pick her up going into the house though. It didn't. So, did you see when the police officer asked that question, his head just whipped around and he had the most terrified expression on his face? Yeah, until Nate said that. It didn't pick her. Yeah, but he's he's, he's just becoming so scared. plain. It's becoming so plain to see, isn't it? I'm I'm sure the officers who were there are thinking, "What is this guy doing?" Because there I'm, were two officers. Yeah, and I'm sure that the officers who reviewed this footage were thinking, "Bang to rights." Definitely. And I usually pick him up when he comes walking through here. Mm -hmm. I pick him up. So it doesn't show her walking into the house. Or she would have walked by there with the saw. You know, it's still live because it's five minutes. Mm -hmm. How long does it typically record for? 30 seconds, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is at 148, and then the next one I have is going to be yeah. 500. So nothing, nice. no cars came through because I guarantee it with the headlights, it picked up the headlights. Oh, yeah. And my vivid said that at 527, my garage door was left open. Well, it says it was shut during the day, but I think when Nikki's uh, son, he may try to move the, sit the door around, maybe when they were trying to get in the door, in the garage right. door, and if I broke the, the laser there, that's because this, my alarm started going off. Well, I know he said the front door he tried going in, but he had the lock yeah, up. That's where so the that's kids so they off, get out. Right. That's, that's where so the that's kids so they off, get out. Right. Did you see that look of terror? In his eyes, his eyes were bulging. Yeah, 
Yeah. He's really, he is absolutely petrified. Yeah, and he's doing way too much talking for such a quiet guy. Yeah, who's supposed to be quiet. Yeah. Our remote on the outside doesn't work anymore. It's got wet. And it's the whole bridge on the side. Yeah, that was it. All right, I appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Hopefully, something comes up here. Yeah. Yeah. Mind if I, you just want to go talk to him, I'm going to get his info real quick. No. Mind if I, you just want to go talk to him, I'm going to get his info real quick. No. Now, normally this is where we would stop it because Chris Watts has gone and we're here to analyse his behaviour. However, what we do want to do is give those of you who are perhaps a bit more unfamiliar with the case than most an opportunity to see what nate does here next now nate is already beginning to smell a rat because um if you notice during the whole thing he wasn't really looking at the screen he was looking at chris watt's reaction yeah so what we've done is the audio is really really poor on this clip as you've probably noticed um and if you put the auto generated subtitles on youtube um it won't work because the audio is too low we've also tried to put auto generated subtitles on our editing program and it still won't work so what we've done is we've gone through it we've turned the volume right up haven't we yeah and we've transcribed everything that we're pretty much 99.9% .9 sure that they're saying so there's going to be subtitles here um basically so you can tell what Nate and the officer are talking about there'll be some bits where um we haven't been able to tell what they're saying so we've just put in audible but yeah. you'll get the general idea so just listen to Nathan break down his suspicions now <laughs> Right. And it doesn't look like he came from right here, it looks like he came from down the street. And then the other thing that doesn't make sense is why would he pull past so hard? You can see him pull past. Are you able to record this? Uh-huh. I'd have to call Comcast so I can get him to do whatever. Oh, well, not just in and get out. And he walks back and forth a couple times. To be completely honest with you, my wife and I were kind of wondering when she was on vacation if something happened, because I've heard them pull out screaming at each other at the top of their lungs and he gets crazy. Does he? Or, and that's pretty recently? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why she went and visited people is because she wanted to get away from the situation. Give your ID handy. Over and over. Well, um, but it doesn't. He doesn't look. 
worried. He looks like he's trying to cover his tracks. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if he's loading his stuff, why isn't he walking back and forth? But I can't see what he's doing in the back of the truck because he pulled him to the garage. Yeah. But he knows my camera's there. Any other neighbors have cameras around here, you know? Um, I'm sure a bunch of them do, but not that you know. Okay. Yeah, I'll look at it. I'll, yeah, I'll do a search here in a minute. I just, all these forts kept coming up missing, so we moved in here. I put this in. And like he said, someone was breaking into it. He said that someone was breaking into his toolbox of his truck. So I told him he could park his truck out there in case they saw something. Diesel, I know you want to go play with the baby so bad. <laughs> Okay. Don't you think it's slick at all? I know. I'm trying to stop. No, I'm just saying it's kind of odd that he pulls his truck back behind my camera. It's cut off. The, the truck's in the garage right now. And he never backs his truck into the driveway. That's where right. he never like he never backed his truck up. My mom said it too. She said he carries his stuff out of the house. He yep. doesn't back his truck up. Well, I have it on camera doing it. Because when he was parking his truck over here, the other thing was odd is why she was gone. He kept parking his truck and her car over here. And I used to see him walk out of this house. He parked the car out of the garage? Oh, the car was parked over there for a long time. Like a couple days. This was past weekend? Uh, no. It was when she was gone for six weeks. Oh. But I thought it was kind of odd that he never parked in front of here or right here. He said someone broke into his truck and he parked over there. I have no idea. Hey, he acted so suspicious. He's normally, you can ask them, he's normally quiet, real subdued. He's over here telling, me, telling you three times what he took out, what he did, what he did, what yeah, he did. He's very, he's very, he never talks. So the fact that he's over here blabbing his mouth makes me kind of suspicious. Yeah, but, I mean, put yourself in his situation. Oh, I agree. You know, anyone's going to be nervous, you don't know what to do. Um, no, I agree, but I'm just saying the way he told you three times what he brought with him, why is he telling you exactly what he brought with him instead of saying, well, they didn't see anybody out here, he didn't see anybody doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why is he so worried about you knowing what he's carrying out? That's all I'm saying. What's that? He's talking to him right now? Okay. just want to give credit to those three people in that house nate nicole and her son nick oh yeah because without them the cops may have had a harder job solving this case but their um ingenuity really helped to oh, to convict him to get him caught definitely that they're, they're they're used to this sort of thing and the useless people lying to them they police know, yeah, yeah yeah they know when someone's lying yeah. And th they probably knew that when they first spoke to Chris, something wasn't right. Yeah. But the the combination of those three, Nicole basically saying how out of character it was for Shannon to just disappear. Exactly. Nate saying how out of character it is for Chris Watts to, to not only be so talkative, but to be obsessed and, and almost go into clinical detail of what he's fetching out. Yeah. Um, and just over explaining everything, the swaying, the rocking, the hands on the Pacing. heads, the, 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 the guilty expressions, the bulging eyes, the, the hands on the heads, everything, all of these composites came to form a picture, I think, of when the officers reviewed this footage and they thought something's definitely not right. But they didn't take action straight away. They waited till the next day to ask him to come in for questioning after the news interviews were broadcast. Well, they probably saw the news interviews. Yeah. And we've seen them and... Well, that's, that's a future episode. That's coming up. 
the next one, part four, we're going to try and use the remainder of the, the police body cam footage involving Watts uh, from the rest of August the 13th and some of August the 14th up to the news interviews. And the news interviews will um, constitute part five. Yeah. And then part six, seven, eight will be each hour of the interrogation. So part six will probably be, be, be hour one of the interrogation, just him and Agent Coda. So we've got all that to look forward to. Can we just say thank you, a massive thank you to all our new subscribers, everyone who's supported us, everyone who's put a like, everyone who's commented. We really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to support us, please do visit our Kofi page. We've got exclusive content on there. Um, you buy us a coffee there for £3 and it means you get 30 days access to all our exclusive content on Kofi. Um, we're also on Odyssey, Rumble and Brighty on. Uh, lots more videos on there. So, uh, yeah, we really, really do appreciate you watching us. We really appreciate your support. We really appreciate you getting behind us. So thank you all. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other. And we love you. Bye. Bye.